Okay. These ones on page two are divisions. Okay, so eight times ten to the fifteen divided by two times ten to the power of nine. Um, just realize that this may also be presented to you in this form. If, if that's a divide here, okay, this may also be pre presented to you like this: eight times ten to the power of fifteen, all over two times ten to the power of nine. Where instead of the divide by sign, you actually have a fraction bar separating the factors. Now, just remember, this is the same thing as you know, eight times ten to the power of fifteen over, you know, 2 times uh, 10 to the power of 9. Okay, and it's basically like, it's, it's basically like 8 over 2, you know, times 10 to 15 over 10 to the power of 9. It's the same thing, because if you multiply fractions, you multiply the tops, then you multiply the bottoms, and you get the answer. So we can also split fractions up like that, basically. Okay, it's one way of looking at it. It's, it's, it doesn't really matter, but the point is, you know, that's one way. The other way is just, okay, this is just one fraction. Everything on the top has been multiplied. Everything on the bottom has been multiplied. There are no addition or subtraction uh, or subtractions on the top or bottom. We just have factors on the top, things being multiplied on the top, and just factors on the bottom, things being multiplied on the bottom. So we can, you know, cross-cancel and do divisions and, and, and stuff. So we can do this. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into eight goes four times okay and also so this gives me you know four over one or four obviously and then this thing is ten to the power of fifteen over ten to the power of nine which is ten to the power of now I'm dividing by the same base and I like you to do these by hand so you can see an application of the quotient rule of exponents when you divide by the same base, what do you do with the exponents? Add them, subtract them, or multiply them, or what? Do you subtract them? 15 minus 9, isn't that what it is? Right? So, 15 minus 9 is 6. So I get 10 to the power of 6, and so I just have 4 times 10 to the power of 6, basically. Right, and that is the answer in scientific notation: four times ten to the power of six. Okay, and um, then you know you can press pause and try this one yourself. Nine times ten to the power of negative twenty-eight divided by four point five times ten to the power of negative thirteen. So what do you do with this divide by sign? So you can press pause and try it yourself, and then check. Okay, now I'll do it. It could also be presented to you like this, and we should write like this when we're doing it by hand, okay? 10 to the power of negative 13. So this division sign gets changed to a fraction bar, and we have this thing over this thing. You can put parentheses around the top and bottom too if you like, it doesn't matter. But know that you have basically 9, you know, times 10 to the negative 28, all over, you know, 4.5. <coughs> times 10 to the negative 13. Okay. And so it's kind of like, you know, this fraction, this number times this number. So you can think of it as like two separate fractions being multiplied. It's the same thing. And 4.5 no 4.5 goes once. How many 4.5s are contained in 9? Two of them, right? So this thing becomes, you know, 2 over 1, which of course is 2. Now we have to figure out the 10 to the negative 28 over 10 to the negative 13. Notice that we have the same base and we are dividing. If you divide numbers with the same base, what can you do with the exponents? Add, subtract, multiply, divide, or what? You can subtract them, right? So it's 10 to the power of the first base, the first exponent, rather, the top exponent, rather, minus the bottom exponent. 10 to the power of the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. The top exponent is negative 28. The bottom exponent is negative 13. And use parentheses to make sure you don't make a mistake in the ne negatives because you should have negative negative, which makes plus plus. Negative 28 and 13, then we can add them together and we get, you know, 10 to the power of 
negative 15, isn't it? So I have this number 2 multiplied by, see, multiplied by the 10 to the negative 15, so I can write it like this, 2 times 10 to the power of negative 15, okay? Now in calculator, if we want to check these in our calculator, our calculator here should say, write down what the calculator output should be for this guy. 4 times 10 to the power of 6. Shouldn't it be 4e6? Doesn't that make sense? What about this one? What would the calculator output be for this? 2e negative 15, right? So we can check them and we can just type in the top line and press enter and we're done. So I mean it's easy to calculate on calculator but I would like you to do this by hand so you can practice your um, quotient rule at least. Okay. So parenthesis 8 times 10 to the power of 15 then divide by which instead of divide by sign it gives us this you know this for a divide by sign which is fine of, of course then parenthesis 2 times 10 to the power of 9 press enter oops okay we get uh, 4 and 6 zeros that's 4 million okay so we got 4 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 zeros so if I put this in scientific notation I would go over 1 2 3 4 5 6 places Okay, and that of course will be four times ten to the power of six. Okay, and in in scientific notation mode on the calculator, it would be of course four e six. Now, this guy, we go, we press clear to clear off your screen. By the way, you can type stuff and then just press clear. That clears the screen. So we just go parenthesis nine times ten to the power of negative 28 and then divide by parenthesis 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 13 Oops. press enter and I get 2e negative 15 and that's what we decided it should be right